Everything that gets into your brain affects your reality tunnel, your worldview, or your belief system, which I abbreviate BS. The, the, two, the, the, the three major things I've been trying to teach in all of my books is never believe fully in anybody else's BS. Just don't believe totally in your own BS. We're talking about children, Mr. Speaker. No matter what the minister thinks, causing harm to small children is not a basic Canadian value. But this government just doesn't get it on multiple fronts. A new report today reveals that food bank use in Canada is shockingly high, and almost 40% of food bank users are children. Meanwhile, this government has totally abandoned any attempt to create good jobs that would bring families out of poverty. Why is the government ignoring the jobs crisis and leaving Canadians stuck at the food bank? Here, here. False. In fact, child poverty has been reduced. The number of children living in poverty in Canada is down by some 200,000 since this government took office just last week. UNICEF, on behalf of the United Nations, reported that Canada has seen one of the most significant declines in uh, child poverty in the entire developed world, a, a, a reduction of some 20%. Mr. Speaker, this is a government that's lifted over a million Canadian families off the tax rolls. That is, and, and just last week, that announced. Mr. Speaker, additional support for all four million families with kids. Mr. Speaker, now every child under the age of six will be receiving through their parents $1,900 of additional support through the child care benefit. Mr. Speaker, this is a government that's lifted over a million Canadian families off the tax rolls. pattern here is waging a war against the poor and the working class in order to keep people down because when you're unemployed without any support without any bargaining power if you have to feed your family you're desperate and when you're desperate you'll take whatever they are willing to pay you even if it's next to nothing and you won't dare make a fuss you won't complain about unsafe work conditions or toxic chemicals leaking out of storage tanks or anything else you won't run the risk of trying to form a union. You won't get involved in politics. You won't make a ruckus or rock the boat in any way. You'll take whatever they choose to give you because you are sinking. A man should not leave this earth with unfinished business. He should live each day as if it was a pre-flight check. He should ask each morning, am I prepared for liftoff? And the cause of all this, in most cases, is expensive rental housing caused by money-grubbing landlords and cutbacks in employment insurance. The solution is obvious, says several groups. The government should dramatically increase construction of low-cost housing such as coal. Right now, humanity is at a breaking point. Capitalism is destroying everything. The environment is in chaos and the food systems are in tatters. But there is hope. We have every solution to every problem in the world on the internet. But there are two groups standing in the way of those solutions. They are banks and government. So we need you to get informed, get active, and to save the planet. So to help you out, Radio Free Canada now presents 3 Minutes to Save the World. 